Mystic Reflection on Soul Warden. Make some goblins. <laughs> How many triggers is this? <laughs> you thought you were the life gain deck. Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Jeff and today we're going to have some fun playing Magic and we, uh, I just barely finished playing uh, the Mystic Reflections deck with Reverend Hoplite and I couldn't, I couldn't resist. I had to play uh, the Goblin deck that we talked to about at the end of the video just because I feel like it's so busted and I know making goblins better is not good for society in general. But oh boy, does this sound so fun. So basically what we want to do, Mystic Reflections for two mana, choose target non-legendary legendary creature. The next time one or more creatures and just or planeswalkers and battlefield under this turn, they are copies of the chosen creature. So basically Krinko can make a lot of goblin tokens. We we know this. We've seen it. It's pretty busted stuff sometimes. Well, what if they were all copies of Goblin Chieftain? That's right. That's terrifying. You know, and actually we're gonna throw in one trash master in here as well uh sorry i just i literally like just barely built this uh one trash master because i mean come on gotta do that as well and we'll, we'll drop a war chief uh because i am playing goblins but we're playing the combo first okay we're doing it this way i know uh, sorry make, making some changes as we're doing it there it is that's the deck all right so basically this is the this is the idea of the deck is we want to do basic goblin things you can still play goblins if you're wanting to i i've never really done the goblins deck very much so this is going to be kind of a new interesting thing for me i've played against it a million times and a half uh so hopefully i know what i'm doing uh but basically this just takes a slot of the of the um horn basically there, there's like a few other like filler cards that everyone kind of plays in there uh I, i'm in between on the numbers like i might want more goblin and skaters because it does make another token for us but in general the only things that we're really wanting to have happen is cranko like mystic reflection the good thing about this is whenever lots of creatures under the battlefield we can all make them copies of something the other cool side of this too is it kind of adds removal for one mana as long as we foretold it at some point or if we don't it's still two mana we can pay for that with kirk prospector and one blue source right um basically we can mystic reflection and we can turn any of any creature entering the battlefield on the other on the opponent's side uh, into one of our one one goblins that's fine that's not a big deal that's okay you know so there's just some good stuff we can do with this so basically what we want to do is cranko activate it uh use mystic reflection to target either a war a chieftain a goblin trash master uh goblin matron isn't the worst thing either just draw all of our cards <laughs> and we have all of our cards in hand now how do you hope to win you know? uh or just something like that basically and that's 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 what we're gonna do with this deck is we're just gonna have some fun uh making some a lot of goblin tokens mystic reflection making even more disgusting and have some fun playing magic so let's jump into it uh if you guys like this kind of content i know sorry I, i'm playing goblins today i know that's typically not something people like but if you guys like my stuff in general please subscribe as well i don't usually ask for it so uh you know do it it'd be great all right against okay. halviev <laughs> and uh let's see we have the mystic reflection we have wily goblin to ramp up and do other stuff wouldn't mind to land we have cranko with haste uh all we need is like a skirt prospector so that we can have a bit more mana um so I mean this is this is looking like a decent hand. I like it. <laughs> Alright, lead off with Spire Buff Canal, pass the turn. Uh yeah, up against the Aura's deck, which is probably we don't have like any removal at all in this deck. Um we can turn one of their things into another self as savior. Sure. Snoop is pretty fun too for this deck. Uh, I think we do just go for ramp, because we want to be able to play Mystic Reflection and Cranko basically on the same turn. Turning them all into Snoops isn't the worst either. Um, definitely better if we can find a, a Chieftain or something though. War Chief's not the worst. Everything becomes really cheap and we can play a lot of stuff. But yeah, so we're playing Chieftain on the next turn. Cranko the turn after. Um... Uh, so it gives this protection. What do we want to get off the board? Uh, protection or indestructibleness? I guess we want to get a lifelinker off the board. Okay, cool. I guess I should have done it the other way then. That's fine. I think they would have just traded off anyway. All right, let's play out War Chief. We get to go super wide. Ah, uh, man, if we had a Skirk Prospector, this would be a great play, but 
Pass the turn. Land off the top gives us... Not, not enough goblin tokens to really make this that worthwhile. Maybe I should have played that. I, I'm still getting used to knowing actually how to play goblins. This is literally like some of my first games ever with goblins here. There's a Skirk Prospector. Okay. That seems good. Is there a way that I can keep... Stop myself from getting too much stuff. Um, I can always just activate it on the next turn as well, right? So let's just go ahead and play out Cranko. One, two. Um, I can also play Sort Prospector. One, two, three. Can I mux this on the same turn? All right, instigator. And we're just going to pass the turn. Lurus, Jack selfless savior he is annoying. Yeah, this way we were able to actually hold up a block as well, though. All right, so we have more goblins now. We could just go for Muxus, which uh, we're going to play Sword Prospector out as well. Actually, wait. Do we go for Muxus and hold up the... Yeah, we do that as well. We do that instead. Okay, so it's Kirk Prospector. Um, so we want to make sure we hold up two blue mana, or at least one blue mana. So um, sack one... As sad as this is, we're going to have to go through this whole process. <laughs> Alright, so we get to Muxus. So there's five Muxus. We get some more treasure. Uh, which means... It really wasn't that much. All right, um, we get to Snoop. All right, um, hold up full control. Sack, Goblin. I could turn everything. Oh, I can't turn everything into Muxus. That's right, we already established that. All right, so Mystic Reflection, War Chief, Auto Pay. Resolve. Cranko. All right. How many War Chiefs do we make here? Oh, that's right. All of them. Yes. <laughs> All right. And then we're going to mux this off the top. Um, <laughs> hey, auto pay. Uh, we'll do this one and get here. <laughs> Uh, I guess we'll go ahead and drop one of these guys since we have all of them. I guess I should have got the Muxus. Another Muxus off the top. Wow. Man. Doesn't actually matter. <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. Oh, dang it. There's the Chieftain. All right. Uh, <laughs> okay. Auto pay here and here. It's so slow. I, I hate this process. Here's another Muxus. <laughs> oh man. Uh wouldn't mind another Cranko. <laughs> oh yes, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. I mean it's still goblin shenanigans, but now we have more chieftains. <laughs> that, that's what matters. We have all of the chieftains in the world. <laughs> oh, that's fun. That's really fun. Up against eggplants on fire. <laughs> That's fun. Uh, can we keep this? A little bit of a funky hand with Wily Goblin, but we're, we'll go ahead and try it out. We do have a decent amount of ramp. Another red source would be nice for the Wily Goblin. Fast turn. Go to my turn. Frexian Tower. And... Is it right to Chieftain right away? I think we go for more just the, the Skirk Prospector play. Swing in. 
Fast to turn. I, again, I'm still trying to learn goblins. I'm not sure how, like which things are the best to like go all in for. It probably would be better to mulligan this hand and have uh, the, the other lands. I figured that we still have ramp at least. Thoughtseize. Okay. Luckily, we have a decent amount of redundancy in the things we need. Muxus goes away. Cool. Come on. I guess now we chieftain. Just to like be able to hit in for more damage. I'd rather be hitting in for four each turn and get them down lower uh, than have redundancy on my Cirque Prospector right there. Especially if they're going to just have a board wipe anyway. So, I, I'm sure. <laughs> Definitely is just not good to not hit more red sources. You know, lands. Lands would be nice. Hydra Crisis. Come on, land. Come on. You can do it. Give it to me now. With love. Well, we gotta keep getting in. Man, this is awful. Sack here. We have some 3-3s three threes now. Swing in. It's down to two lands still. Oh, man. Ugh. My luck with lands is just always there you know in case you're wondering if it wouldn't be there oh it is it's still there there it is there we go uh snoop would be nice to you but i think we actually just want more mana in general all right if they don't find a board wipe we're gonna got them pass the turn man if we had had one more red source there you know it got even better gargroth that gains him life. Does bad things. Trash Master. Um, I think we want this on red instead. Is that good enough? We get in for... Um, for eight. They gain... Yeah, so that's enough. I think we had it anyway. Oh, I forget that's massive as well, but yeah, just in general, that's good stuff. Cool, 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 cool. Looks like we're up against some of the same people. Up against Halviev again. Uh, we'll keep this. And I mean, we have Mystic Reflection. We're going to see if we can reflect mystically again <laughs> it's always the dream skirt prospector pass the turn this might be like my new go-to deck for a little bit just because goblins are good i need something to be ranking up with right now uh, but adding a little, little splash of something spicy, you know, <laughs> it just helps it all out. I only have two copies of these Frexion Towers, but I feel like I keep running into them. All right, pass to my turn. More Muxels. All right, Snoop Dog. Land off the top. All right, so how much mana do we have on the next turn? Do we have enough? One, two... Three, four, five. We have to sacrifice one of the others, so yeah, that's all that we get. They okay, pass my turn. So yeah, we hold off on that for now. We just foretell. They see the reflection off the top, so they already know it's coming. That's fine. Uh, we want to stop on the upkeep just in case. Oh wait, no, because we already know it's on up there. Anytime that we have a chance to find a Cranko, that would be sweet. <laughs> Alright, down to 17, past the turn. We have Muxus for the next turn. We have to sacrifice everything to make it happen, though. Hopefully, they don't have Counter Spell. Oh, that would be bad. Curious Obsession. Cool.
All right, no counters. There's no mana tithe in this format, so no blocks. All right, pass my turn. Muxus off the top. Well, I guess we play the Muxus off the top, right? Just auto pay. Sack one. Sack two. All right, how good does it get? That's that's pretty dang good. <laughs> um, yeah. I think it's just lethal anyway. We didn't have the mana to be able to hold up the Mystic Reflection, unfortunately. We could have made all of the chieftains though. Oh, I want this so bad. Oh man. I mean, you st I, the whole idea is that it's an, an, an extra additional thing you can be doing to just close out games. <laughs> Maybe it is a little bit win more, but oh man, would that be so fun. <laughs> Up against El Bobby, <laughs> and we'll keep this. Oh, this is a beautiful hand. All we need is uh, I think that's like, I'm going to say that every single time. All we need is mystical reflection, mystic reflection. <laughs> we don't actually have a crane code to go for this. I mean, so, and that's part of this deck is we have that combo to go off with every once in a while. But for the most part, we're probably just going to be playing the other side of it. All right, do I Wily Goblin here to ramp up to Muxus? Or do I just go for the aggro play with Snoops? Because Snoops is a pretty big dude. And I can start playing stuff off the top. It's nice to see what's on top as well. Explore. All right. I am recognized. There's the Mystic Reflection. All right, sweet. <laughs> Swing in. Down to 15. Well, what I could do now is turn a Wily Goblin into that. Well, yeah. It's not the best idea. Migration path. All right, yep. Lots of ramp. There's the world tree online. Um, I think we just hit for as much damage as we can. No, we also we also want to get to Muxus. That's land off the top. Yeah, that means just a couple turns away we have a chance at it. So down to eight, past the turn. They are two lands away from an Ugin. Explore, getting closer. <laughs> no Nissa yet, uh, but I'm not sure this is a Nissa deck. Another migration path. Yeah, just a little bit of land. I, I think we win though, right? With the Snoop and just what's on board already. Yeah. Okay. Well, oh, we get to crinkle. Yes, yes, we get to do it. All right, all right, sorry. Uh, Mystic Reflections. Everything becomes a copy of this. Activate, all right, real quick. Play out the, no, wait, cancel, cancel, cancel. Activate that. I should have played the Snoop first and then done that, but that's also pretty fun. <laughs> yes, <laughs> we did it. We did it! We had to crank off the top, we were able to do it. Uh, I would have made even more, but I, I forgot to play Snoop first. Uh, if I had accidentally just like resolved the Snoop there, then then all the creatures would have become that instead, so... Or he would just become the War Chief. Oh man, okay. Life's good, life's complete, I feel fulfilled. <laughs> no, no matter what happens now, I'm happy. <laughs> Alright, we get Hunter range, and keep this. Still just a good hand. It's like goblins keep knowing how to do that. Just have good hands. Magic's easy, guys. Just have all of the good stuff in hand. Here's a Cranko. We have fast stuff into Cranko. I like it. I like it. Okay, there's a Daxos. Wily Gabos. Pass the turn. Yeah. 
Is this how everyone feels being on the side playing goblins? It just feels disgustingly good, you know? <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I'm feeling that in my soul. Uh, we actually might want to go ahead and kill this. To stop them from flipping the Legion's Landing on the next turn. They don't have anything with haste. Although we don't know that they don't have anything. Uh, and we do want more tokens for Krenko, so... We'll take it. We came to make it do a combo, not to just care about making all the goblins, you know? Like, so we're, we're, we came to have fun. Fun shall be had. Fortunately, we can't tutor up the Mystic Reflection with this. Um, so let's go... Do I go Cranko this turn? No, I think we just wait off to try to get to the Muxus. I can go War Chief, and then we have Muxus on the turn after that. I mean, that, that seems like the right play. I'm still trying to figure out how to play Goblins. <laughs> uh, they seem like they had some sort of party trick. Or, sorry, party trick. Uh, combat trick. So we're just going to pass the turn here. No attacks. Keeping our war chief alive here is pretty important. Yeah, man, I what I wouldn't give for a mystic reflection on with this hand right now. <laughs> uh, although I, no matter what, we go Muxus for the turn next turn, and then it's like Cranko and Chieftain and mystic reflection on the turn after. I think we could do that. On Sarah's wings. Oh, that's what's going on. All right, cool. I dig. I dig. Um, how low can we let our life total go? I think we chump now. We have a couple turns before we're actually playing Krenko out. I believe. Yeah, we're bolting ourselves. Shatter school smashed in our face. Play a Muxus. Flying Vigilance. No first strike. Okay. But, oh boy, this this token's legendary though. That's pretty fun. That's good. Uh, is that just lethal? 5 times 3 is 18. It's pretty dang close. They have to block the Muxus. I'm debating if I need to hold back blockers at all. Um, if one mana held up. They have to block here. 18. 20. It's, if we can bring them down to like 2. And I don't think that they can kill us on the backswing. They have to block Muxus to not be dead. Uh, we can round to like four with with a uh, vampire blocking. Fight is one. Oof. One card left. Super dead. I was right down to two. Man, my math is so good. Take that, fools. <laughs> I'm so impressed with myself. <laughs> All right, where's the Mystic Reflection, though? That's what I really want. Johnny Strength of Pride. That would be good. But it's not. Come on, Mystic Reflection off the top. I believe in you, deck. I believe in you. We've already had it happen one time. Can we happen? have it happen again? Can the dream come true? If we get it, I, I'm. I, what we could do is go for Krenko first. Oh, I I wish that we had the ability to see off the top how many how many goblins you get to make, how many uh, chieftains. Oh, that'd be so busted. <laughs> All right, on to the next one. Whoa, do you guys? 
know this gentleman? <laughs> All right. Okay, we have Mystic Reflection. Uh, we have zero blue sources. I We're going to keep it. Everything else in this hand is still pretty nice. The Snoop for some extra stuff. Uh, really fast turned into Muxus, potentially. I mean, so we, we play it out. But, oh, man, do I want to... I want a blue source for this. It's probably only me that can be playing like one of the best decks in, in a format. And just be like, man, it's not good enough because there's not enough jink in the deck. <laughs> I, I need to make sure I can do the thing. <laughs> Without the thing, it's all terrible. All right, well... That's not a land, even. But we could play it out. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> we pass the turn. Okay, I'll see the last bounty. All right, what are we looking for? Muxus off the top. Hoping not to die. Uh, so do we go snoop? I guess not. We we snoop after we get all the manas going, right? You pass the turn. How big and bad does this get? No, oh, that's getting big. It's getting bad. <laughs> oh no. Out of 27, draws a card. 21. He's out. I land. Do love these lands. They look pretty sweet. What's your guys' favorite art on a land? Ooh. Oh. Disgusting. Alright, well, we have like two turns. Yay for more mystic collections. Actually, what can we do with that? Is there anything we can really do cool here? I don't think so. Chieftain off the top. I think we maybe we do play that just to get closer to um, Cranko off the top, right? Um, that lets us play more stuff off the top on the next turn. Although, if we we don't want to get get to a land, all right, we'll go ahead and play this. I have another Skirt Prospector in hand, so we're actually going to um. Yeah, play there. Alright, at least they get to see the Mystic Reflections. I I feel better about myself when people know that there's something fun in a deck full of goblins. You know, like, I'm not just the guy playing goblins, alright? <laughs> Don't judge me. I'm better than that. I'm not that... Oh, no, that's a pretty terrible thing to do. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> They're, they're looking at the Mystic Reflections right now like, what? What's going on here? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's right. You wish you had as much fun as we did. Okay, self and Savior. I guess the other way we can go with it, um, ev make everything into Snoops if a crank goes off the top. So that's our next best play is there's a Cranko on top. We make turn everything into conspicuous, conspicuous Snoop and then Snoop makes tokens over and over and over again. Oh, we we're so close. Oh man. Well, well. Bummer. Yeah, that's game. All right. Good job, sir. We're dead. Yeah, we're, we're done here. 
all the mystic reflections not exactly what we're looking for <laughs> All right, we had Samir Black, and we actually have the combo basically in hand. So we have Goblin Matron. Um, I mean, I'm not sure if we copy. I, I guess we can copy Matrons uh, with the with the Grinko, uh, which could just draw us every card that we need, you know? <laughs> All right, let's do this. Is this is a To Build Trickery deck. Anytime I see this many... All right, no, it's just the just an aggro one. Uh, all right, Shadow School Smashing is nice. This is a very aggressive deck if they have the Heart of Kirin. They mulligan down to five, so there's a chance they don't have everything in the opening hand. Bolts it in. Oh, yep, they got it. They've got it all. Good for you, sir. Good for you, sir. No blocks. Down to 17. Pass them my turn, Wily Gabo. Well, let's hurt ourselves more for more awesomeness. Go Wily Gabo. Um, attack in. Pass the turn. All right, how good is this five, five card hand? Oh my gosh, it's amazing. All right, well, they could Mystic Reflection turn this into a copy of a Wily Goblin. They still get the Heart of Kirin, though. It's just a little bit better. What we do is we Strategical Smashing both these guys on the next turn, though, right? Like, that's, that's what happens. We take a big hit. It's going to be massive. And I think we don't... Uh, lose the white goblin here just so that we can make sure that happens. Um, because we need, yeah, we need four mana, and I'm gonna sack this. Yeah, so no blocks, take it down to seven. Land, please. Nope. All right. Well, we still do it. All right, auto pay, sack a wily goblin. All right, that's. I mean, I'm hoping that with their double mulligan, that they shouldn't have more action in this hand now, right? They did, they did just scry too, though. Here, this card is so good. <laughs> oh, just threw up in my mouth a little bit. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Pass the my turn. Spire Buff Canal. All right. Um, Chieftain, maybe? What do we actually dig for here? Cranko would be nice, but we don't have the land for it anyway. Um, I guess we have this prospector for it, but are we actually going fast enough? We have to. We have to win fast. I think it's Chieftain. Pass the turn, because that's also the thing we want to turn everything into. Like, we can just play Goblin Instigator, and yeah, it doesn't trigger for both of them, but we can trigger it on the, on the token creator to turn it into a Goblin Chieftain. Then everything just gets bigger. Like, that's still a good play. Swings in, it's a treasure. We definitely do block. They get to three mana for something. That's all they were hoping for. Another Magda. There. Can we shock ourselves? Oh. Wait. Is there anything we need to shock ourselves for? I guess not. So, Chieftain. Steam vents tapped. Um, now we don't have, really have a blocker for the Magda. We're going to keep ourselves alive. Pass the turn. Maybe I did want to shock that in. Giant Ox. Darn it. Uh... 
Let's see if they actually swing with Magda. They do. Yeah. All right. Um. Well, we're trading off the script prospector. Down to three. Can we get anything here for us? That's a Cranko. Oh man, it's a Cranko too. If I had kept the Skirk Prospector, we had it, I think. Oh. We could hope that, that, that it's up there with Snoop. All right. Man, all right, well, just a turn or two away. I should have just taken the damage from Magda. We, they didn't have lethal, should have just done it. All right, good game. Oh, I, so that was, that was just misplays. I should not have, I should have just gone down to, uh, down to one there. Dude, just want a hand without two lands. Uh, we're gonna mulligan. I, I wanted I want to be going for the mystic reflection play so yeah this this will keep for sure do we drop a land here though <laughs> no all right keep this drop a skirt prospector play a skirt prospector pass the turn They're gonna turn their bear white, we're gonna turn our bear white. Actually, we're gonna turn it black, it's way better. Oh no, that actually can be bad for us. We actually, this is the answer to this, to what's going on here, actually. We have the answer. All right, foretell. That was the perfect time to foretell, so that we're all good. Um, the answer is turn them into two twos instead of one ones whenever Krinko makes goblin tokens, and then we're okay. I mean, of course, you just normally want to have Chieftain in general, but it's okay. Gain some life. Swings in for two. We cry inside a little bit. Pass them my turn. I guess we don't need to shock ourselves yet. We don't have any guarantee that we have anything good, you know? Swing with both. Down to 19, pass the turn. Okay, pride mate. Seems legit. Seems like that might be bad for us. We can make a bunch of those. <laughs> we don't have any way of getting life, but we could do that. Actually, making a bunch of Luminarch Aspirants isn't the worst either. Go to combat, counters onto everything. Or what we do is make a, a bunch of uh, Soul Wardens. Oh man, okay, new new plan. <laughs> the goblins are going to make all those. Oh yes, and we actually, we're getting pretty close to it now. Um, actually, how close are we here? We might be really close to it. Franco has three mana to play. Do I want to hold up the Friction Tower instead? Um, so I can sacrifice her Prospector. All right, we're we're gonna we're gonna try to survive one more turn. We should be fine. Okay. Cranko. Ooh, I think we do play it out as well. Sacrificing the matron. Yep, more counters onto everything. <laughs> uh, no mystic reflection for this turn. But we still will make some tokens. Um, pass the turn. Let's do it after combat, if we can. So we don't have to worry about all this stuff. They are like our best blockers as well.
We also want to make more goblins. And we can make so we get so much life gains anyway, we're fine. Baffling end. Okay. Um that does not hit a Krenko. Are they trying to hit the Krenko here? Alright, uh yeah, we do we do make goblin tokens. They can gain some life, that's fine. Alright, here we go. We're gonna make all the soul wardens in the world. <laughs> yes. Uh, and with that many, I don't know how Krenko ever becomes bad again. Alright, we do have to chump here. Oh no, they're swinging with it for 8 then. Um, do we still chump? I want to make a lot, more, a lot of goblins. Alright, no blocks. Take it, down to 4. Pass to my turn. Double Mystic Reflection. Um... Okay. Mystic Reflection on Soul Warden. Make some goblins. <laughs> How many triggers is this? 20, okay. Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, there, there is as well, cool. Okay, resolve all. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you thought you were the life gain deck. Oh man, life is so good. Um, do we need to shock this? I, we can, right? No big deal. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, foretell this. And uh, we'll do it again next turn. Pass the turn. What you got, fool? <laughs> oh man. I mean, unfortunately, we don't get to make more goblins. And, and honestly, uh, I don't think... I don't even know what we do. As long as they don't have removal for... <laughs> as long as they don't have removal for the, uh... Uh, the Krenko, we just go off with this, right? I mean, they can never outpace us. Like, never. I should have turned the Heliod into something else too, maybe, but it's, it's fine. Uh, now actually, maybe we just make a bunch of Pride Mates. Yeah, okay, we do that. <laughs> okay, that's... What was I thinking? Oh, silly me. Uh, we want goblins to still make more stuff. So, yeah, we chump with one of these guys. Okay. Pass to my turn. All right, we, we Muxus. Um, so, we want to make sure we still have up one... Actually, wait, uh, undo. Uh, first off, we actually make Krenko token. So, activate ability, make a bunch of goblins, just in case we find another, like, another Krenko and a way to make it hasty. We can hold off on the Mystic Reflection for a bit. We have enough life gain here that I'm fine. Um, so, yeah, we're good. <laughs> yes! Oh, this is the game I've been waiting for. Oh, this is going to be great. Okay, resolve all. Yeah, counters everywhere. That's cool. Dude, so many flipping triggers. This is ridiculous. Ah, oh, this is going to be a long game. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Bear with me. I don't think that they can beat us. It, it, all, it all just comes down to how long they're willing to do this for. All right, we, we gain a little bit of life. Um, we tap, tap, tap. Uh, four, so then we sacrifice... One, sacrifice two, Muxus. Yes. <laughs> uh, okay, lots of triggers. Resolve. <laughs> oh my gosh. This game is going to have so many flipping triggers. We might break the game here. I, I don't doubt 
the possibility at all. We get another Grinko. Well, yeah, sure. That's all we get, which is kind of sad. Wait, what else did we have here? Wow, okay. That's cool, I guess. All right, no hasty Grinko right now, but uh, wait, no attacks. Yeah, no attacks past the turn. <laughs> All right, so I claim that permission. Oh no. Okay. Uh, the next thing that enters the battlefield enters as a copy of a goblin. Boom, bam. Take that, fool. We gain more life than you. No answer for Cranko. Yes. Now they just can't outpace us for, for life, and we get to go way wider than they do, so we're going to start pressuring life total pretty soon. Uh, Mux is going to be bigger than anything they can do within a few more turns. So many triggers. All right, no more blocking with Soul Wardens, though. We, we want to have the four, so they can never really outpace us. Uh, they can start giving life link to the Johnny's Pride Mate, I guess. Like that's the one that's the one thing that they've got on us, I guess. Alright, uh pass to my turn. Hmm. Well. Alright, let's see if we can break the game a little bit. Dude, this is <laughs> this is not healthy. <laughs> They're gonna turn the goblin into a massive gobbo. <laughs> cool. Alright, they're getting all the life first. They get six. Is it just six? Yeah. Oh, no, no. That's how many's left. They've done already. Alright, just please, like, one or two more turns of the Cranko, and we should be able to close it out just from massive board state. Okay, up to 95. Uh, this is such a chinky game. Pass the turn. Dude. <laughs> Maybe we need like one Aether Flux in this deck, you know? It, just in case we have the situation. No, that's a terrible idea. Uh, but the whole like being able to gain life is a pretty funny way to go with a lot of things. And if we could have made copies of Johnny's Pride Mate. Okay, Mystic Reflection off the top. They, they don't have another Skyclave Apparition. That's a good sign. That's probably going to be the only good removal they have for us in the deck. Like it's probably going to be Baffling Ends and that. And maybe like one board wipe. Some people will play multiples just in case. <clears throat> All right. Uh, yeah, they still can't. They're not using Johnny's Pride Might to actually gain life. I definitely think that's their best play. Although we do uh, have the ability just to block and sacrifice the goblins in response. So I guess we should maybe start like swinging with Crank Muxus. Dude, what a game. Who would think that the, the Goblin deck would be the one with 107 life here? This is the most insane. <laughs> uh. <laughs> All right, pass to my turn. There's a Chieftain. Chieftains are good. That's pretty dang great, actually. All right, come on, Mystic Reflection. I believe in you. That is what. That's a great way to close out the game. Make a million Chieftains. Uh, let's wait until after they go to combat or whatever, right? So we'll hold off for a little bit. 
no real reason to play out the lands. Having more blue sources could be nice. We have so many red sources now, though. Gosh dang it, they have it again. Mm. Come on, let me activate in response. Come on, where's my... Shouldn't I be able to respond to those? Uh, or those are my triggers, that's why. All right, well, make some goblins. All right, I mean, we still have so many good things to hit off the top. Game's definitely not over. <laughs> oh my goodness. Who scoops to this madness first? It's not gonna be me. <laughs> I, I think it's a higher chance we end up like breaking the game first though. Um I mean, we have chub blockers for days. If they finally come all the skyclaves, that would be really bad. Um how much damage do we have? They don't have life gain at the moment. This might be a turn that we swing. Weird as it is, it might be the case. Uh, they don't have anything else with lifelink. Alright, let, let's actually do some math here. And just resolve all. Okay. Uh, let's put this off to the side, and that can resolve all. It's going. Okay, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. They're not putting all the counters onto all sea life's bounty. I feel like that's the obvious choice. Just get, get a lifelink or have lots of stuff. It's a white board. We have uh, 19, so wait, wait, one second, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's go ahead and do, you know, wh while we have some time while this is going, <laughs> uh, we have uh, one, 20, 35. So 35 attackers, potentially. I might hold back Spirit Prospector as well. Uh, minus nine. Um, times two so we can do 52 points of damage we'll probably do 50 they get to gain some life back with all civilized bounty we lose a bunch of goblins we don't care about those as much right now though and then how much can we do on the turn after that something pretty similar we only lose nine of, of 35 so i think the right play is to start attacking and the biggest issue here though is the johnny's pride mate uh which we want to be able to hold up a goblin to be able to block and stop them from gaining life. We're okay if some one of the other ones gains life, because yeah, it's fine. Two robots at 200 lives. What is this madness? What is this? Oh uh, yeah, sure. Why not play like this? That's fine. <laughs> it's getting everything up to 10-10. I you you ought to be playing everything up to the Alcy Lies bounty. Uh, although I guess we can sacrifice whatever goblin they block there too. Oh wait, this is their turn. I don't know what I'm thinking about. That's right. They have the Skyclave apparition. Uh, so I guess we hope that they swing in or something. That'd be great. This is all before Skyclave Apparition even takes the Cranko. Dude, this, this game. This game has been insane. And I, I love that Mystic Reflection allows for this kind of shenanigans. You know? Like, I'm not sure if this, like, if Goblins beats Soul Warden and all this stuff. But when we can steal their Soul Warden and we're gaining four times the life they are, I guess not as much now because of Daxos, but uh, still. Like, that's ridiculous. So fun.
All right. Whew, all right. We made it through. <laughs> we did it. Oh, wait, there's one more counter. My bad. I forgot about that one. <laughs> I mean, they do have a lot of damage output as well, I guess. Uh, no blocks. We'll take it. Why not? Oh, man. Down to 180s. We're not double their life total anymore. Okay, pass of my turn. Chieftain. A little bit of redundancy is not the worst. For the speediness of it, at least. Um, so I was, I was debating attacking him before, but they do also just have a massive board state. Um, we end up taking a lot of damage, too. I guess I would be down for them on the uh, swing in on the crackback, right? So while they don't have the mana to give lifelink, we attack him. And then we hold back enough blockers... That we can block the stuff they'd attack in with and give life to. Alright, so. Go to combat. Attack in. Hold back. Um, yeah, I guess Muxus as well. And I'm fine blocking and jumping with the war chief. So 34, they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So they actually, they, uh, we still have basically the same math. We're doing about 50 points of damage here. Um, I could swing with Muxus. Muxus isn't big enough to get through pride mate though. So we'll just swing like this. Yeah, we're going all in. We doing it boys. <laughs> yeah, all Zelay's bounty is the only annoying thing, uh, which uh, we can actually stop this. So in response, sack that goblin. No life gain for you. Okay, down to 47. Pass the turn. I don't really know how they can attack in very well. We're totally fine uh, getting rid of this war chief. Unless they have they hold up like a skyclave. Healer sock. Okay. That's annoying. I, I guess kind of. <laughs> I guess we're still kind of fine, huh? Alright, game more life. Dude, this has been fun. So stupid, but I love it. <laughs> um, yeah. I've been amazed how many times we found it, like the combo of Cranko and Mystic Reflection in this deck. I guess we have a good way to find Crankos. Definitely wouldn't mind drawing. Some good stuff. Uh, these games, these turns of it just been so long. All right, they're holding up. I think, I think we're still pretty close to just lethal on the next turn. We can sacrifice the things that they give life. Okay, so they can give some random thing life now. A uh, life link. Trick Prospector number two. That's another attacker. They gain two life out of it, so it doesn't really help us much. Um, okay. 26. It's not the same math as last time. We're not actually doing 50. I'm, I'm debating if it's enough with these guys. I don't think so. Uh, yeah, I think we passed the turn. 
I, I think we just hold off and try to wait for something good to happen. All right, we can wait for 10 more turns though, right? We're fine. I don't see them getting through with anything on the ground. It's just this healer talk. What? No. No, come on. What? <laughs> what? Dude, what is with this game? <laughs> come on, okay. We gotta get we gotta get at the top deck of the century now, right? What is the top deck of the century? Muxus? Probably Muxus. Oh my goodness. Alright, so they have to actually attack in with Angel of Destiny. So we have one turn, basically. Swings with Healer's Hawk. Yeah, that's fine. Gain some more life. I think they might be over the starting life pool. Maybe this is the reason why they have uh, Angel of Destiny, right? Oh, goodness. <laughs> oh. That's a Muxus. All right. Sacrifice Muxy boy. We have a shot. Oh, boy. Do we ever have a shot? Uh, I guess it doesn't matter to hold up mana, but whatever. We get Goblin Machins potentially to play stuff. All right, they got the top deck of the century. We have the, the top deck here as well. Um, dude, what is this game? Give me some Krankos. All right, a few more things hit the board. <laughs> Everything is pretty big now. We're, we actually, I think, are pretty close to lethal. So they gain two life off of this uh, Skirk. We potentially do a little bit more damage than that, though. Uh, and even if we can get them below the Angel of Destiny, I guess that doesn't even matter. We're just we're going all in. Yeah, the math on the Skirk Prospector is just that uh, as long as it's a 4-4, four -four, they're only getting, getting two life off of us, and we get to do more. So we're good. We sacrifice whatever things are being blocked by lifelinkers, which means we probably can't swing in with the with these guys. All right, what other triggers do we have? Um, Trash Master can only hit artifacts, right? Not enchantments. Otherwise, that that could be pretty nice. Okay. One more. <laughs> yeah, this is this is going to be close. Can we do anything else here? I think this is just going on in. All right. Didn't even find any like conspicuous snoops. That would have been nice. All right. Swing in. Um, these guys getting blocked deal uh, six against us. So it's not worth swinging those in just in case he sees it. So 36 attackers all in. This is our shot. I guess I could have used friction tower actually. Uh, so uh, that was a misplay. Um, I could have gotten in for three more points of damage. And if it comes down to three more points of damage, then I'm sorry, guys. I had a way to do it, and I did not do it. Um, I guess they are going to want to block one of the lords with all Seed of Life's Bounty. It's definitely worth letting it go through when, when, at that point then. Um, what's 26 times 4? Hundreds, right? 26 times 4... Yeah, 104. Yeah, we, there, there's no way. I don't think there's a way that they, they beat us here. Like, we, we have lethal, I believe. Dude, such a crazy game. What? This is one of my favorite games I think I've ever played. This is so fun. Um, Angel Destiny has doubles. Oh, no. Okay, let's not call attention to it. Angel Destiny has double strike, and they're blocking a token instead of one of the lords. 
That changes the math completely if they block a lord. Okay, don't don't call attention to it. I totally forgot that they do have Oh no, I, I just hovered over there. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Okay. Oh my gosh. Thank goodness for for having such a massive word state that it is forgot. Alright, that, that should be game. They gain life. Doesn't really matter here. Yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. What a game. That was a blast. That was so fun. <laughs> yes. Oh my goodness, guys. Is there anything more fun than Mystic Reflection with Cranko? I'm not, I'm not sure that there is. Uh, it just makes so many tokens. It's already in a really good deck. So like you're still playing good stuff, but then you get this like janky shenanigans that did win us that game in the last game. Like I, I don't think we would have won that game if we hadn't had Mystic Reflections. Like it really did turn the tables for us where we were like down to like four life at one point. Um, and then bam, booyah, we have uh, all the soul, soul wardens in the world. We gain all the life. Doesn't matter. We're up to 2,200 life. And then they uh, got an Angel of Destiny. Uh, was about to, they were about to win. And then we found a Muxus. Like, what? That was such a good game. Oh, man. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you didn't enjoy that, I don't know what I can bring you that you would enjoy. Because that is so fun. I know it's goblins. I, I get that. But, I mean, come on. That's as good of magic as it gets. So I, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button. Just do it. Hit the like button. If you haven't done like just hit it with the elbow. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, and subscribe if you guys don't mind. If you haven't already, that'd be great. All right. See you guys in the next one. Bye.